So guys, I am back with another Dying Light 2 video. Today I'm going to show you the location of a secret loot room, which also beholds a hidden collectible, which I know you won't want to miss. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So the Bizarre Settlement is one of the first you will come to, as you can see me right here on the map. I'd say top right hand side of it, and this is where you actually want to come to because it's right at the very top, right up there. And up there as well, there's also this zip line you can see, which takes you out, which is pretty cool too. Now, I mean, you, you, when you get here, you have to speak to everybody and then you have to go and meet and speak to Hacken. But before that, you, I mean, you don't want to miss this. It's easy to miss. I mean, you can always come back to this and get this if you want to. But hey, it's up to you when and how you get this. But yes, so you saw where I was at on the map. Uh, you want to scale up to this uh, room here. You can see me failing. Still getting used to the controls, guys. It's been a long time since I played Dying Light. But I'm getting there. I'm getting there. So you eventually go up here. Now you want to crouch under this gap. And you've got to keep on traveling up, people. you got to keep on traveling up. So keep going. Um, make sure, obviously, you want to watch that stamina. Jump across here. You want to jump up again. Jump up again onto these. So you probably want to walk to the edge here. Yes, you do. And then jump and grab. There we go. Well, like I said, the controls for me are a little bit fiddly at the minute. Um, still getting, I haven't long started, I'm not going to lie. And you want to jump up here, guys. And I mean, it looks all pretty. You can go numerous ways. You can go that way and use a zip line. Um, I think it's trying to like avoid the way you should be going for the collectibles here. Obviously, turn around and jump back up here. And you'll see. Now you want to jump onto this ledge and be careful because if you fall down, you're done for. Let me tell you, you're definitely done for. So I'll walk around this edge, super careful. Keep super careful. Now you want to jump up on your right here. Pretty good view though, innit? Pretty good view. There we go. And there we go. Now in here, guys, you actually have to go up and the, the secret room is up here. And there's a bit of loot here. I mean, nothing spectacular. But I mean, it's all parts. It's all trading. Uh, there's a... Uh, a safe there which will crack as well because there's a little cold there which I'll tell you the answer to if you're struggling uh, but you'll see the safe is right there uh, it's a three digit code you do need now that's your the riddle for this you'll see is right here on your right hand side and you can see it's right next to that poster right next to that poster Grab these, grab these contents first, guys. Let's not forget nothing here. Okay, so why is it not letting me pick you up? Come on, game. Come on, game. There we go. <laughs> what was going on there? So that's a safe card, artifact collectible, as you see. Make sure there's nothing there. Nope, nothing, oh, nothing left, people. I actually come up here slowly and jump back down to show you guys how you get here. So I'll go across to your collectible so you can actually see the, the riddle. There we can see it there. The answer to this is a simple 510. It is as simple as that, guys. And that's what you got to do. So you want to go back to the safe. Um, and just write in five, first number. And then one and then zero and upon doing this the safe will open up for you and within it we'll get carl's journal a collectible a tape which is pretty good now i'll leave this to play if you do want to listen to it that's completely up to you but yes guys this is basically how you get the uh, uh the carl's journal artifact collectible a little bit of stash as well and also i'll show you where you can go and use that zip line if you want to do that that's completely up to you and where it takes you yeah actually you know what this may be the way you may have to come uh besides jumping up to this 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 secret room i'm not too sure i just i just like to explore i'm that kind of player but yes guys i hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully people i will see you on that next one there's a term for what came next a crisis of faith and with me, it started long before the epidemic. 
But when people started to turn into monsters, when city after city was eaten by darkness and poison, I started to wonder, where is God? Is he putting us through a trial? Or has he abandoned us? When Black Monday came, I no longer had any doubts. There is no God. There never was. Because of the THV Genmont bombings, two million people lost their lives. The streets carpeted with human corpses. What God would allow that? He would have to be infinitely cruel. Of course, other so-called men of the cloth offered nonsensical observations. That this was the will of God. Punishment for our wickedness. That Colonel Williams himself served as the hand of God. But that didn't matter anymore. The curtain had been torn off. People lost their faith. Because what were they supposed to believe in? No one wanted a god like that. And in that moment, to my own surprise, I felt free. As if I were a puppet who finally cut the strings that controlled him since birth. Free at last. How's it been, kid? Got a taste for city life yet? Yeah, I've been here. 